What time is it? It's journey time and time for another creative journey using Stampin' Up! products. Hello, my name is Kathy Haynes and today we're going to take a creative journey and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a light up card. Now I have created another light up card using the little lantern from the Campology, Campology set a couple of years ago, but I have I think I have found the key to making it much easier because it was a little difficult to make the diode light up. So we're going to be using a different type of diode and a different way of um, contacting it. So sit back and relax, and I hope you like this. In, in, and I hope you like this creative journey. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. The first thing is we're going to be using the Lighting the Way Stamp Bundle. And it is not retiring with this new um, catalog coming out in May. So I'm so excited because I have so much more I want to do with this set. It has these adorable <coughs> lightning bugs or fireflies, depending on where you're from. And I remember as a child, I used to... Um, run out in the spring in the evening and we'd all be out there with our baggies and our empty mayonnaise jars and it was a lot of fun although i don't think i'd do it today <laughs> i can't already run and we're also using the lighting the way dies which is really what captured my attention with this set um was this lantern i just think it's adorable and we're going to use it using vellum in the background and as you can see, it just makes it light up so perfectly. <coughs> Pardon me. Let me have a drink of my coffee. I hope you all have your favorite beverage next to you. This is probably not my favorite, but this is not that type of video. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is the, um, the background. Now, see, I have the um, stars in the background, but there's also brighter white ones. So let me show you how I did that. I took um, the white basic, um, the craft ink, and I used a, let me find a block, and I dabbed some on there. And I'm just going to do a little bit because I've already done it, so it would be dry and everything. But um, here, I'll start over so you get the full effect. And I like to use the brush, a fan brush. Now, this is just a cheap one that I got at the Dollar Tree. I think I got four or five in their hobby section. So um, it's nothing expensive or fancy. And then I'm going to squirt some water on here. And depending on how thick and or thin you make it is how dark your stars will come out. But you basically just tap, 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 tap. And it does look bright, bright, bright white here. But as it dries, it will fade. So I'm going to put a lot of, so I call these my background stamps. Because they are going to fade to the background. Just like this one faded. Okay, so let me get a little wipe here and wipe that up. All right, I'm not going to use any more of that. Later, though, we're going to make um, the stars pop more by using a white gel pen. All righty. The other thing I've done, as you notice, is I have a hole here. So I have a template because I've already figured out where I want my lantern to be. So I want my lantern to be right here. So I wanted the light to shine through there. So I took the little die that comes with two of these. And um, the first thing I did was take a white marker or a white gel pen because the paper's blue. And I laid it on top exactly how I wanted it using my stencil that I already have. So once you decide where you want it and you cut it, save that a piece for a stencil because then you can do it over and over again. Just lay them together perfectly, mark on the bottom, then take your die cut to your um, die cutting machine, put it on there, 
and run it through. So I was able to do multiples. We've got some shooting stars going on here. So I'm going to use the old one. And um, that's how I got that. So the next thing I want to do is this is going to be my quick, um, circuit board. So I'm going to turn this over and line this up. Now all the dimensions are going to be below for all the different layers, but it's basically your five and a half by four and a quarter um, black. And then you'll have your granny apple green will be a quarter inch less. So it'd be five and a quarter by four. And then my um, blueberry bushel layer will be five by three and three quarter. So this one inside, I wanted to be a little bit smaller so you don't see it from the outside. So I cut it at 475 by three and a half. And again, all these measurements will be listed below. So basically I wanna center that on the back, flip it over, and then I just wanna take a pencil and I kinda of wanna mark it and put a little dot because that's where our diode is going to go. And this time we're gonna use, um, last time we used little plastic diodes, this time we're gonna be using these type. And they're three millimeter LED emitting diodes. Okay, and you get 750 pieces and it's only like $8. I'll have links to Amazon where I bought all the items used below. But in it, it's really cool because you can get, um, whoops, if I can get it open. You can have a various colors. You can buy all white. These are really bright. The whites are very bright. So I've decided to use the yellow. Some people, because um, I think that looks like flame more. Um, if you're doing the lightning bug, you could even use a green because they're like a greenish yellow. They they um, they emit that kind of neon color. But um, these wait till Christmas time. I have so many ideas for so many light up cards, and so. We'll put those away from later but I just need one and then I'm also going to be using um, um, three volt batteries and this is what my circuit board is going to look like okay let me move my thing when we're done so you have an idea of what we're doing so now that I've <clears throat> layered this I have this again we'll do it one more time since I went on and on but we kind of laid it like that and then put, so we have an idea of where our diode is going to be because that's how we're going to line up our tape. And this is um, copper conductive adhesive tape. So it is meant to make a circuit. And again, I got these on Amazon. It'll be linked below. So what we're going to do is mimic this. Okay, so we have where our, di our diode is going to go right here. And we know that we need two connections we need a positive and a negative to make light work okay so this top one is going to be our positive and this where it's written the bigger side of this um, lithium battery it has a positive sign and the back side doesn't have anything it's just um but i know that the positive side is facing up so i know that when i make this this positive side is going to touch the battery and make it um, work. Isn't that great? So the top is the positive, so that's this line, and then we have tape underneath it, which is going to touch the negative side, and that's going to come out and cut, touch the negative end of the diode. Now, the diode has two prongs, and I don't know if you can see it, but one prong is just a bit longer than the other. So the positive side is longer, and I like to think to myself to remember that, that the more positive you are, the longer the relationship, right? So I know that that's gonna be the positive side, and then the shorter one is gonna be negative, because if it's a negative relationship, it won't last long. How's that? Does that help you? Because things like that help me. So I know I'm going to bend this, because that's gonna be my piece that touches the battery. And I'm gonna open it back up. And then I know I'm gonna use this battery because I can't find my other battery. My battery is gonna go about here. So then I'm gonna take this conductive tape and um, part of my nails, I dipped them, dug them into a blue pad earlier. And I'm gonna start pulling that up. 
So not too far. I mean, it's up to you. You can play with it, get used to it. But I know that I want to go almost to the edge with this. Okay. And it's, it is kind of fragile, so you kind of have to be careful. And I know I want to come down here to the diode. So I want to make a right-hand turn, but before I do that, I have to make a left. So I go up, kind of crease it, and then come back down. So I've made a U-turn. Come down to right about here, and nobody's ever gonna see this. So if it's crooked, who cares? Okay, so then I'm gonna tear that off right there. All right, that's my positive. Now I need to make my let negative. So I'm gonna get myself some more tape. And I know where my battery is gonna be. Now, some people like to go ahead and make a circle. So you kind of know where your battery is when you move it. And if that's helpful, that's fine. So I'm gonna go in there because I know I need it to touch my battery. And I'm gonna go down. And then I wanna go over here to my diode. So again, a right-hand turn, press it down. Whoops, I lied to you. We're gonna make a right-hand turn, you have to go left first. So left, and then the U-turn back. And it's just a matter of keeping that circuit good, as long as it's sticky. And then just go right past there. All right, so if we've done this right, this should work. All right, so we're gonna take our battery okay comment below how long do you think it'll take me to find my battery now what i found that i didn't think of in my first video is red tape i think is the answer okay so on this part i'm going to take some red tape and just cut a piece off about an inch three quarters of an inch i'm going to put it right over this okay and then I'm going to lift it up with my pick tool. All righty. And then I'm going to lay my battery positive side up so it has a positive. It's the smooth side on this one. And push. Now I'm going to grab my diode. Again, looking for the long edge because that's my positive. I'm going to pull that up like that. And then my other one I'm going to kind of bend like that and you'll see why in a minute and I want them to touch like that so I'm going to cut two strips of this red tape a little more than a half inch okay and the first one I'm going to do is my positive side okay and really push that down because you really want to keep that connection on there you see there you go, it works. And then I wanna do the same thing here to keep that connection tight. Cause that's the biggest problem and I, I have this backwards, so there we go. You just kinda of want that light in the middle. Doesn't really matter where and it's not gonna show. But the biggest problem we had in the past, I think others that have done this will agree, is keeping that good connection. Okay, so there we go. Now we can go ahead and build. So the next thing we want to do is take our granny apple green piece and I want to adhere. So I'm going to use Tombow. Keep that folded. And I want it, it you know, adhered pretty well. So you could use tear and tape, you could use stamping steel, whatever adhesive you like. I'm in the middle still of unpacking. I haven't found everything yet for my new studio. And I'm gonna line that right up like that and press down. Still working. Okay, so I think the red tape is the answer. That and the new type of diode instead of the old plot. I should have brought one to show you what I meant. But you can look at me, go into my videos, you can see the Cambology one, the light up Cambology one. Okay, so now that we got that going, we know it's working good. You could even put it straight up. You know, you can manipulate that a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and start with the front. So here's the one that we did. Let's just put it kind of, see? gonna work just fine. In fact, I'm gonna bend him down just a little bit because you can kind of mess with it. Okay, make sure it's still working. Okay, there. 
want it over here. So that's too far. I have my dot there. I don't know why I don't listen to myself. There's my dot. That's where it should be. So let's just keep it that way. So now I'm going to put double the dimensionals on the back of this. Now before I do it, I have one more thing you want to do. We're going to go ahead and put our lightning bug together. So this is the lightning bug. This one I did black. Um, right now I'm going to try another one using the brushed metallic. And I thought I would try some Sharpie on it to turn it black and see if it kept its sheen because I really did like the black. And I've done some with this brush metallic, but I like the shininess of the brush metallic. So, and I know that you could also use um, the blends, but I wanted a really black black. And then I wanted some of the brush to show through, so it kind of gave a different look. There we go. So now you're going to take your pieces of your, and this is in the Lighting the Way dies. All right, so we've got that, that, and I need a yellow, a yellow butt, for lack of a different word, to use. Here we go. I've lost my butt. There we go. I've lost my mind, yes. So I know that I want this to go on the back of my body. I know you can barely see that right now, but so I'm going to put some Tombow right there, and then this is also going to go on the back. So I'm gonna put some Tombow right there. Okay. And now we'll build our B, our B, our lightning bug. So this one looks like it should go right about there. And then we will lift this piece up and put it on our wings. The wings go down towards the butt. Push. And there we have our lightning bug it's that easy and then once it's dried a little you can manipulate it try to get it some okay and then I liked putting on a little bit of um, gel pen so I'll put a little bit on it down here I just and I'm not an artist so but I just thought this looked good Give it a little bit of dimension. There's a crease right there you could follow. Okay, and then maybe a dot and a dot. What do you think? I think it gives it a more realistic look. Do you like that? Okay, I'm gonna set him aside to dry and then I'm gonna determine where I want him. So I know I'm gonna want him right about here. Here is, and I'll, I'll tell you how I did the vellum, but I know this is gonna go right about there. So I'm thinking right about there is where my lightning bug is going to go. So there's some big ones and some small ones. And this is some white craft um, ink that I put on an empty spot because I haven't found my craft ink yet. I'm still unpacking. So since I know I want it to go there, I'm going to stamp right about there. Okay. And then... I'm going to pop this one up. Uh, I have lost my minis, so I'm just going to use, I'll snip off a half of one on the edge and put it right there on his body. Yeah, it has dried, thank goodness. And I will put my lightning bug there. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'm going to turn it over. We're going to put double dimensionals. So I'll put five dimensionals on the back. One towards the middle so it doesn't cave in. And then using your take a pick tool. Can you see how I explode very easily? So you all saw that I used my take a pick tool. And it is right here, and I'm going to take these covers off. See how easy that is with this? All right. And then I'm going to put another set, because I want it kind of lifted up. I don't want the lights to come on unless I want the light to come on. 
So if you give it a little more room, it will be less likely to turn on on its own. Now that um, I have this new way and it's a, to me it's so much easier, I can't wait. You'll see I'll be having a lot more light up cards. They're just so fun and, and what a wow for the, your recipient. Okay, so I've doubled them up. Don't want to throw away that. Now let's find the base of my card. Make sure we're still working. Okay. So now this should layer properly. See my head just get in that? Yep, it's perfect. Okay. And yet you can still see it. And now we gotta do our this. So how I did this is I put a piece of vellum underneath it originally, and I took a pencil and drew the line, and then I was able to make a little, you know, so I drew a line, then I cut across and around. I'm looking for one of my pieces to show you but I can't find it. So that's, and then I just glued it onto the back of my lantern. All right. And then I'm just gonna put dimensionals on the back, put two at the bottom, and one towards the top. And I'm going to light it up so I can see it, because I want that to be right towards the center and then push. Okay, so the dimensional should do their job. Right, isn't that adorable? I just love it. Now at this point, I want to add more stars because remember I told you those would fade and even on the other one that I got some shooting stars because I didn't wait for it to dry, they fade. So you want to add some bigger ones. So just using, um, let me grab another pin. Just add some more dots. You can do big dots, little dots. And it just, see how it just gives it dimension. And then these are my constellations. So I've just added a bunch of dots of gel pen and that just makes it so much better. And then we just need the sentiment and I just like, thanks for lighting the way. There are other sentiments in this stamp set. So you could use any of them. As long as you do your card to where when you push on the sentiment, it's gonna um, hit the corner here. So it has to be up here in this corner. But we're just gonna use the light in the way. So I'm using Night of Navy. I like the dark color. And my Night of Navy has exploded. They have to be stored this way, folks, flat. Because when I moved to here, I guess a box ended up on its side. And um, it, it moved. The ink moved. <laughs> so here we go. Let me find my cinnamon strip. I'm going to ink it up. Put it on the corner. Okay, put this away, and then um, where are my scissors? All right, and so then you just want to kind of straighten it out. I always do a bigger piece and then just cut it because it's so hard to do a sentiment. So that looks good. Come in this way a little bit. You know, even if it's not exactly straight, which this one is not, and so I'll be making another one afterwards, but for the sake of video, this is perfect. And I'm gonna cut that at an angle. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put three dimensionals on the back. One, because I want a strong area where if they push on part, 
it's going to trigger that if any of you are having a class on organization please don't forget to invite me okay so i'm going to put that right about there and let's try yep so anywhere you push because you've got those dimensionals is going to light it up all right then I'm just going to put it on the black base. It's already popped up enough that we don't need to pop up this. You know, I'm a popper upper, but put it on the black base. This is already po enough popped up with the double dimensionals. And then we'll add it to a base. And this is what we'll end up with. So what do you think? All right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed making this card. Um, I will be changing that sentiment. But isn't that just so much fun? I think it is. So be sure to like and subscribe. Um, all the measurements will be down below. I will put links to all the products that I bought from Amazon, like the, I'm sorry, the batteries, the copper conductive tape and the diodes will all be listed below. Other than that, you can hit the link below and go to my shop and check it out. Um, I'm so glad that Lighting the Way is in our new annual catalog. So we have plenty of more time. I can make lots and lots of more cards. Um, I'm gonna try multiple circuits now that I have these diodes and the red ta tape um, alternative that I think is my lifesaver. So thanks again. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, hit the notification bell and you'll be able to see the rest of the, um, all the videos I post, but I'll be putting up some really cute ones in the next week. So have a good day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye now.